Hey, you guys, I wanted to jump on really quick. I meant to do this earlier. Um, it's Monday, but of course, time gets away from me and life is just busy. Um, wanted to recap and share with you guys about an event that I attended this weekend for a dear friend of mine, Stephanie Peters, who launched her book on Saturday and it was just such an amazing and empowering event that I just felt like I wanted to share it with my community. Um, it was just phenomenal. Um, they had a couple speakers at the event, um, but here, first of all, I wanted to show you guys what the book looks like. It's called Unleash Your Lady Boss by Stephanie Peters. And I am so excited to read this book. Um, this lady has been inspiring me for a couple years now and has really helped me, um, along with some other women, has helped me kind of break out of that rat race and become an entrepreneur and follow my dreams and chase after what, um, what I believe life is really about, and that's living life on your own terms. Um, and I get to be a stay-at-home mom now because of it, so it's pretty phenomenal. I want to start and just um, let you guys know how Stephanie Peters defines a lady boss. And um, it has it right here in her book on page 15, What is a Lady Boss? And it is a woman who shines her light to the world through actively pursuing her God-given potential. She knows when to throw punches and when to roll with them. She never allows others to determine her destiny. She feels the fear, confronts it, and grabs the pen to write her own story. She pursues her purpose to inspire and empower others to unleash their greatness within. So that is how we define a lady boss in our Lady Boss Empire community. Um, and I wanted to share just a couple other tidbits that I took away from some of the other speakers from that day. Allison Crandall, who is the co-founder along with Stephanie Peters of Lady Boss Empire, she really talked about enjoying the journey. So really living every day as if it was your last um, and just really embracing all areas of life and um, having fun because we only get one life and we might as well enjoy it and have some fun. Um, but of course that doesn't mean um, getting stuff done and, and building businesses and being successful, but it is really important and she shared how important it is to enjoy that journey and that there are going to be ups and downs and you have to be able to learn how to enjoy both of those times. Um, but she also really talked a lot about gratitude, which I thought was so important. Having gratitude for the good days and the bad days. I just had a great conversation with my mom last night um, about, you know, having tough times in family, um, family life, and really being able to have gratitude for those tough times because it makes you appreciate when things are going really, really well. Um, and just saying like, yeah, things might be really tough right now or things may not be going my way, but thank goodness I have support. I have friends. I have family. I have love. Um, and just remembering those things during the hard, hard time. So that was a really, really great speech and I enjoyed listening to Allison a lot. Um, Stephanie Peters' mom also spoke on fear, which I've heard, I've heard her speak on fear a couple times and, um, it never gets old because fear is such a real thing that we all experience on a daily basis. Um, and just because you feel fear doesn't make, make you weak. It's how you deal with fear. And so I really, um, enjoyed listening to her speak on fear and how you can, um, confront it and keep moving on and keep chasing after your dreams even when fear confronts you. Um, but last but not, not least, Carissa Rasmussen was also a speaker that day. And you guys, I've met her a couple times. I've attended a couple events with her, but I had never heard her speak. And holy buckets, this girl blew me away. I think everybody in the audience was crying. Um, were excited, started dreaming, um, and just really felt moved by what she had to had to say. Um, she talked a lot about self-love, um, but a lot about rewriting your story. And that we all have had um, things happen to us in life. And 
We have all had experiences that may not have been the best, um, whether it was when we were younger or recently. And a lot of us let those stories define who we are or define um, how we live our life. And she made sure that everybody in that room that day knew that you get to rewrite your story. You get to make it whatever it is um, that has been placed on your heart. And I think it was so important for her to let everybody know as well that you have your voice and it is specific and it is unique and it is beautiful and whatever has been placed on your heart, what you want to do in life, you are the only one with your voice that can rewrite and tell that story. And maybe it's to sit down with one individual and change their view or their thought or inspire and encourage and motivate them. Um, remember that. And when you're having a hard time or you're not feeling motivated, remember that nobody else has your voice. And that is what drives me for How To Mom um, is I feel like something has been placed on my heart to help moms through motherhood. Um, some days I'm like, I don't even know what that looks like. I'm not even quite sure exactly how I want this to grow, but I know that it has been placed on my heart and I feel such a drive to make other moms feel loved and supported and encouraged and just help life be a little bit easier for all of us. Um, and she also really touched on our subconscious remembers stories, not facts. So you can um, meet somebody and walk away from that conversation not remembering their name, but if they told you their story, you're never going to forget that. The next time you see them in a room, you're going to recognize their face. You might not remember their name, but you're going to remember the story they told you when you sat down with them. So just being positive in life is, um, it is encouraged, and that is what's really remembered. So that was really, really powerful. Um, I can't say enough. If you guys haven't checked out Allison Crandall's Facebook page, if you haven't checked out Chris Erasmussen's Facebook page, do it. These women are changing lives and inspiring people every day. So that was so fun to witness. Um, but to end it with Stephanie Peters and her book and everything that she has done, um, I get to hear her talk all the time. So I'm really lucky. Um, but what I took away um, from Saturday was her reminding me that I am enough and don't let fear and doubt stand in my way. We're going to all have haters. We're going to all have people that discourage us. Um, but focus on what's important. Focus on those that um, feel your encouragement and that support you. Um, so just wanted to suggest you guys check out her book, Unleash Your Lady Boss. You can get it on Amazon for your Kindle for, I believe, 99 cents still. And then the paper copy is $15.95. So totally worth the money. Um, a great Christmas present for a lot of um, the women in your life. So anyways, I will be posting lots more videos. Just wanted to recap on my lovely weekend and all the encouragement and inspiration I got to receive, I wanted to share with all of you. So have a great night. Bye guys.